today I have a different video. I will be doing videos on like what I'm going through basically. Like my fashion, parenthood, because if you didn't know, I, I just became a mom three months ago. Um, so we're going on four months now. So that's what my channel is. Fashion, I love fashion, makeup, hair, everything. So with that being said, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tune in to my channel. Um, so um, today's video is going to be, I guess about breastfeeding maybe. I know everyone becoming a mom and if you decide to breastfeed, which is the best thing out there, not throwing any shade, but it is. Um, Originally, before I had my baby, I always was like, I'm going to breastfeed, I'm going to breastfeed. But then I had him early and he's premature and the doctors was like, are you going to breastfeed? Like hinting like, yeah, you're going to breastfeed. <laughs> so I end up breastfeeding my son and is like the benefits are there. You got to look it up. I would try to leave some benefits down below on um, why breastfeeding is so good. But breastfeed your child and um it's a very difficult thing especially if you're a working mom and that beginning stage of breastfeeding when your milk tries to dry up or the stages okay so <clears throat> this video is basically about how you can keep your milk constantly coming in because i went back to work before my son came home and uh, my milk ended up going like it like had a drastic decrease in it and I wasn't used to that I was like no this is the only thing I can do because at that time my son was still in the hospital so I was like I gotta figure out something so I did all this research and kept looking up things and I know fenugreek is another fenugreek and the mother's milk people recommend my pediatrician actually recommended for me to take that today if I feel like I'm still not getting any milk in but I feel like my milk have increased doing the things I'm going to tell you guys to do. And that is first, make sure you drink a lot of water because you're going to be, make sure you drink a lot of water because you're going to be very dehydrated. Like I'm, my mouth is always dry. Like I'm always thirsty. So I make sure I keep some water near me. So yeah, make sure you drink a lot of water. Make sure you're intaking enough calories for the both of you guys because you know, you're pumping out calories. So you need to put enough in. I know that's like kind of sketchy because you want to try to lose weight as soon as possible. That's another story. We will talk about that another time. So if you guys want to go um, talk about my journey <laughs> down below or how I'm feeling like post pregnancy, um, leave me a comment down below. But um, even though I might already do the video. And then to pump and nurse as much as you can. Well, no the two or three pump or nurse as much as you can one because um the way breastfeeding work is the supply on demand um so if you pump in and then nursing your body's going to be like oh i need more milk i need to produce more milk so um basically pump in nurse more or you can do like if your milk has completely dried up because i a point I feel like mine's did so if you do the express pumping which I will leave like a map right here of how to express pump but I will leave that to show you how it goes but it's like basically you pump for 20 minutes then you stop rest for 10 minutes and then you pump again for 10 minutes or something like that like I said I'll leave it right here so yeah pump as much as you can nurse as much as you can and then you have more milk coming in and get on a schedule with it and be consistent that was my thing like I'm like I'm not getting up in the middle of the night I'm not doing it and it's like I went from pumping every time I milk feel like it's coming in to pumping every like five hours and my body wasn't used to it so it was like your baby's not drinking as much as it was before so that's why it started to slowly dry up I guess you could say and I didn't know this but it kind of makes sense watch your intake of lettuce because um lettuce dry up your milk like you ever heard someone say um, put cabbage on your boobs yeah that makes sense so <laughs> it's been so long since i'm like literally been making videos so bear with me for these upcoming videos like i'm trying to still get in the hang of things but yeah that's some tips for breastfeeding and um 
next video on breastfeeding probably like breastfeeding essentials maybe so if you guys want to watch that make sure you leave a comment and like this video and if you have not subscribed yet make sure you do so i will talk to you guys later thank you so much for tuning in and i'm back you guys i'm trying to get used to everything but i i think i'm back i'm back <laughs> um so yeah i will talk to you guys later Mwah!